Welcome, world of YouTube, to a fabulous game that I have no idea about. All I know is that it's apparently kind of sad. It has objects. Also known as shapes. <sighs> Which is appropriate, given I am a shape, so... Let's us start a game. I clicked new game by accident and went exactly half a second before, so we're gonna see what this is. I'm not gonna read that. Start adding name strings. Well then. The left was alone. Oh, there's narration. A weird first thought to have. Huh. Well, let's talk about Blade Runner 2049 to date this quite well. To start listing his observations for posterity. This game seems a little stuttery. The hole alone. Probably my computer somehow. Two portals. Hmm. They led somewhere. He'd yet to work out where. Three falling. Thomas was absolutely fantastic at falling. <laughs> he was almost as good at falling as he was at observing. Oh no! I cut him off. Shit. Okay, interesting. Thomas couldn't fall past this block. Think, damn it, think. What if there was some kind of inverted fall? Some way to. What's the word? Jump. Uh, all right, all right, guy. Let's see if he says something. Worked. Thomas had solved the great inverted fall mystery. All right then. I guess we did. <sighs> Quality. A big jump. But Thomas noted there was no real danger in missing it. The world didn't want him to fail here. It was pushing him. But gently. I'm enjoying the text oscillating. Anyway, um, let's us get this jump across. <laughs> but yeah, Blade Runner. 2049, this possibly best sequel of the decade. You should see it if you like the Blade Runner. Was not to be trusted. Or like sci-fi. But yeah. Stable, and it seemed to Thomas that it could let him down at any moment. He was starting to suspect it might even be doing so on purpose. Man. Paranoia. Come on. That stutter, man, is too good. Thomas wondered whether the portals were actually taking him anywhere. He felt like he was making progress, but there wasn't really any way to know. He seemed to be moving predominantly up and to the right. Which I hope you're reading this. Might not be important. <laughs> Let's see what he says in the narrator. I might not always do this, I'm afraid. Oh, he didn't say anything. Perfect. But, um... I figured this would be a fun adventure. Maybe we could see some motion out of me. But Thomas could have sworn the world was becoming more complicated. It always seemed to be one step ahead of his skills. It had been designed just for him. He wondered why. Was the world testing him? No. Too obvious. Come on. Why am I so impatient? Something about the boiling, toxic, glowing water intimidated Thomas. <laughs> he didn't like it. He certainly didn't want to swim in it. Okay, so that's a respawn point. point. Four. Water. Not good. To be avoided. The loneliness was getting to Thomas. Yeah. No amount of observation or obsessive note-taking could combat that. I have to admit it, it's pretty lonely here. A little bleak, a little dark. The music is kind of pleasant, though. If I were really Thomas here, maybe I'd... Yeah, I don't know. Kind of sit down, you know. Take a breather. But, um, I wonder, is Thomas an AI? A little bit of a robot kind of fella, you know? That didn't happen. Look, 
you know as well as I do that that I'm not a speedrunner. Not in this game. Nope. Maybe in a different one, but not a good one in general. Meh. Gives me a little bit of time to talk. Okay, this game controls extremely weird. Just FYI. It feels like kind of floaty, but then your fall is like really slow. Well, no, but that's what floaty implies. Okay, it's like you have a really strange like vertical distance and, and then followed by like slow horizontal. I guess. I don't know. Just a weird pairing for me. Thomas had a new theory. The world was training him. He could feel himself getting smarter. There was the mental list to consider. Over the minutes and seconds since his spontaneous generation, he'd become a pretty skilled jumper. Oh. He He's training for the Olympics. Olympics. He just wished he had someone to share it with. I think the real purpose of this AI is to be an emotional sack. Emotional blocky person. Yep. Okay. Well, seems like we're on a new chapter. Let's see. A little bit of an idiot, this would happen. Overlapping scripts. It's bound to be spawned into an environment at some point. Missed the point. That little error changed everything. Hmm. Chris took an immediate and deep dislike to the skinny red rectangle. Who the hell did this Thomas think he was? <laughs> oh, that's cute. Switch character with Numkey? Huh. I can also um, click the Q E L button. I don't have an E button, so it's either Q or number. Oh, okay. This guy is kind of a short hopper. Chris had been doing fine. He wasn't the highest jumper, but he'd held his own. He'd even been graceful at times. Yeah. Poor little Chris. Actually, <laughs> technically graceful probably the wrong word, but you know, fine. There was that skinny little runt leaping about like he owned the place. Okay, well. A free one with Nacha. Jump. Oh! Oh man, I felt like I could have jumped there if I had some some quality jump timing there. I don't know. It just it just felt that way, like the way that I was stuck, kind of lodged by the wall. Alrighty, your friend. There we go. All right, I'll get this guy over here. What's his name? Oh, he doesn't have a name yet. At least I don't think he does. Oh no, it was like Chris, or something along those lines. I knew a Chris. Chris is always a good friend of mine. Okay, this was more like it. The glowy white thing. Only Chris could get to it. Which of course, made it all the more enticing. What would it do? What new opportunity might this switch open up to him? <laughs> oh no, not this. All right, get up there. Great, great. Another chance for Thomas to jump slightly higher than Chris. Unfortunate. Seriously, this made the whole switch pressing thing entirely worthwhile. It's <laughs> <laughs> a cute little adventure. I can attest to that. But my commentary is somewhat insightful. Because on the surface, it did not seem good. Chris was pretty scared. Little Red seemed fine, happy to be on his merry little adventure. This little Red Chris was fine. Chris couldn't shake the feeling that things had taken a significant turn for the worse since Thomas had joined him. Hmm. Sure, he'd been able to piggyback his way to ever so slightly higher platforms, but where that got him? Well, to ever so slightly higher platforms, which was sort of his point. <laughs> Is there, uh, okay. So we're just splitting ways now. 
I might reduce the graphics at any point if I see fit, but so far I don't. So far I see it as fine, because for some reason my laptop doesn't handle things very well. But anyway, um, the background staying a little, a little still. I see some plus signs in there. I'm not sure what that's about. But see, this jump sequence for me is way harder than it probably is intended. See? Look at that. Okay, well... <sighs> yeah, that looks... a little weird. Let's finish this level, and then I'll worry about fixing the quality. <laughs> Yay! Alright. And this menu is supposed to be kind of slow, for the record. Okay, let's see. Do, do, do. Yeah, let's reduce the quality real good. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. Mmm, so good. Okay. Chris stared at Thomas with pure hatred. He seemed so very happy at their situation. This is much Friends better. Together, a brave fellowship of Forgive me, viewer. Quest for greatness. <laughs> Yeah, well... That would be fine. But it was all the obvious observation that Thomas was doing which grated. Every time they saw something vaguely new, Chris would hear a satisfied little hmm from the vaulting idiot. <laughs> the vaulting idiot. The portal would split them up. If only for a few levels. God, I feel like Chris is going to backstab me. Can't even deny that. Yes, he. Oh. All right. Oh. oh. <laughs> Rip. Feel so alive. Alright, so there's some character arcs going on. Our, our little Thomas here is just a curious fella who wants to, you know, figure out what, you know why they're traveling. Chris just wants to get away from Thomas, from what I understand. And, you know, yeah, he's kind of concerned about things too. This was his chance. A moment to shine. This was game day. That's a big jump, dude. Can't help but to feel your jumps really high. <laughs> okay. This would not do. John needed room to show off his exceptional skills. As it was, he <laughs> trapped on the wrong side of these little dot things. Little happy dot fellers. Where did they come from, anyway? Dot things. Movement. Yep. John inhaled the air of the open space, and it smelled of awesome. Awesome. Time to flex those muscles, to put his training to use time to show those little dots how it was done. Oh. <laughs> John decided to press I see. the switch to <laughs> let the little dots catch up with him. John cared for his new animals. Oh, he's a caring fella. You could tell from the sympathetic expression practiced in the mirror all these years. Little egotistical, but you know, eh. it's there's always a folk like that. You know, nice egotistical fella. You know, it happens. Actually, I saw earlier that I was moving with a piece on me. Let me try that. 
Oh, you can't jump with a piece on you. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, let's do some gnome pads. No, that's not a gnome pad. Apparently one is that now. Oh, I see one. Okay. Never mind. Maximize my efficiency of time usage. Boom. Oh no! Okay, I see a square. You can't hide that from me. Huh. Oh! I collected it? I don't know what that did, but okay. <laughs> also, I just stood on ground there that didn't exist. That's quality. Oh, okay. But yeah, we got good old John, good old Chris, and good old Thomas. Now, I suspect that they formed this particular form. Oh. <sighs> can you even jump that high? Oh, yeah, I think Red can. Yeah, he can. Okay, well that took way too long. Beep. Okay. Beep. <sighs> no commentary? Okay. Um, actually, I, I suspect that, uh, Mr. Yellow Long... John... John Yellow... <laughs> I got this. Mr. John Yellow John was yeah. happy to keep helping. Ye Yellow he long felt bar. it was important to his image that he was seen to help the little guys. <laughs> he helped the little fella. That was excitable. Uh, I should probably not go too far since I literally have no idea if that's helpful. <laughs> so far, it looks like I need to have Mr. Yellow long bar. So let's go get him. A little staircase here. Well, not quite. <laughs> this orange man. Such a pain. I know we're gonna support him all through this, and he's gonna betray us at the very end. That's my prediction. It just something's gonna go horribly wrong. I know it. That's just that's just what's gonna happen. And you can't tell me otherwise. Oh no! Oh wait, no, I'm good. I'm no short hopper. So we got Mr. Crimson Stick, and also Mr. Um, what's his name? Mr. Orange Patty. Sure, that's fine. Okay. Seriously? I can't get over that? I can't get over you. Mr. Orange Patty. Mr. Orange Feather. I want an orange all over your oranginess. <laughs> I was wondering if I would die. <laughs> if I died, that would have been pretty depressing. But yeah. He didn't mind them so much either. The red one, Thomas, had a charming way of applauding every time John jumped. <laughs> wow. Clamping. Uh, no! <laughs> uh, Alright, get your butt over here. I actually suspect, though, that there's a deeper lore in hand. Uh, oh well. Alright, we're not gonna make this mistake. You missed your. Orange bar, or Mr. Orange Patty. Ugh. Gosh dang it. Okay. Okay, can't do anything yet. Is 
There's another one of those weird uh, collectible thingy McJiggers. The angry orange one was less immediately likable, but his unremitting cynicism and tutting amused John. <laughs> angry orange one. So it's kind of interesting that they are kind of, you know, self-aware of colors and that kind of thing. That's neat. <laughs> Got it. Well, that could have been an opportunity for me to have recovered with Mr. Yellow Bar, but... Oh well, what are you gonna do? I guess it could also just be that they're somehow all separated. And maybe it's like a coming of age thing, where they're just like, well, now is our time to be free of each other, you know, we had a journey together and now it's over kind of thing. I could see that happening. There's a few options. They're all pretty good. If I fell down there, I would have been really upset. Okay, last level here. This was interesting. A floating target. This would require coordination, balance, and timing. Would it now? John was sure the dots would be lost, but he was happy to guide them to triumph. <laughs> Maybe that's what the dots were for. They were there to extend John's reach, to make his performance even more impressive. John liked the thought. He decided to keep them. Yeah, man, these guys make them feel happy. Alright, Mr. Yellow Long Bar, I need you to go do that. So, the reason why Orange is such a cynical, or not cynical, but angry Orange Patty is, well, it's quite simple, really. His wife divorced him. He had um, four kids, right? They were all different shades of orange. He had um, a sunset. He had um, let's see, sunset orange. You know, like like a fruit. He named yeah. He named his kid Orange Orange Patty. Um, and then we had what was it? Yeah. Well, the tragic thing is that Orange can't actually remember the name of his third child. But his fourth child was actually named Clementine, or however you pronounce that. It's a good, it's a good word. It has a pronunciation. Yeah, he's, um... He's a pretty cool fella. But yeah. Anyway, his life... Life... Wife... Left him, quite simply, because... Well, he broke his leg. Well, he, he didn't break his leg. He, he broke his, um, let me think, his right angle, right? So, he may look like a square, but he's actually slightly a rhombus. And you'll never know that from looking at him, you know? You really wouldn't. And, you know, to this day, he stays up at night thinking about how he's a rhombus. And he really wishes he wasn't, you know? Because being a rhombus is a sign of weakness in his culture. An initial group possessed simple variations in size and strength. More complex configurations were inevitable. This was how Claire would die. Oh no! She knew it would happen eventually. I'm a lady. Lady Square. She was 